guys we've got a um technics rsbx501 cassette deck which i purchased recently um had a couple of problems with it one was that the um tape uh type selector uh seemed to be very sporadic on the uh the type one normal cassette tapes uh there appears to be some switches here which, uh, well, I've had a go at cleaning them and it seems to be a bit better. It's not perfect, but um, it's a lot better than it was. So I just sprayed some contact cleaner through these little gaps here. You can see these gaps here. Ejected the tape in and out quite a few times. Tried to put a sort of like a pin in there to try and just get on the contacts and clean it. And it does now seem to be uh, selecting the tape type. So if I put a type 1 tape in here, you can see I've actually got the front of the drawer off at the moment where I was working on it. Let's put these, one of these cheap, really cheap, awful uh, Maxell cassettes in there. Uh, close it and you should see the type 1 come up uh, what it was doing before was it flickering continuously and every time it flickered it would stop the uh, tape uh, but that now seems to be a lot better than it was um, I mean these tapes are awful you can hear just the noise from uh, as I fast forward it you can hear the amount of noise coming out the tape here hopefully uh, it's got quite a nice little feature this thing that it does an auto really fast forward um, after a few seconds, uh, I've got a chrome tape here, a really old TDK SA90. I kept one of these, um, should have kept loads of them actually because they're really good tapes. Uh, but the, I mean, the, de the difference in this quality is immense. Um, you can see it's come up type 2 now, so it's recognised it's a chrome tape. But just the sound from the cassette is a lot quieter on these um, on these SA90s, these original TDKs from probably the, uh, the early 90s. Uh, you know, the whole tape rewind mechanism seems a lot quieter than these really cheap uh, Maxwell things which were probably made in the last sort of uh, five, ten years really. So that, that was that issue there. The other issue which was much more significant was that there was no audio. So when I got this thing, um, although it powered up uh, and the cassette would play, uh, I was getting no audio. So these, these meters were um, effectively just staying at zero the whole time. I tried the headphone socket here, nothing came out of it, just absolutely no audio at all. There wasn't any even any hiss, so it wasn't making, getting any audio. And the line outs on the back uh, weren't uh, producing any audio. Uh, it also didn't seem to be recording anything, so there was also ATC thing to set the bias on the tapes. That didn't seem to be doing anything, so there was obviously something fundamentally wrong with it. I've had a good probe around on the board, and I found that the issue was this one tiny little resistor here. Resistor R631, you can see this resistor here at the back, it's the blue one. Um, that was basically uh, not permitting any current flow through it. It was, um, uh, I guess you call it open. Uh, it's an R33 resistor, so it's a very low uh, resistance. Um, but it, as I say, it was open and not allowing anything through. The, I mean, they had no obvious damage on it. It just wasn't working. So I unsold it, I've put this, this um, blue um, R33 resistor in there and it's now working. Uh, that, that was the only issue with this board, but it was stopping all audio. And it actually sounds a pretty good tape deck, really. It's giving out a good quality. It comes out the headphones now, comes out the line outs. I've recorded on it, it works fine. Uh, yeah, and the, and see the meters are light up as well as I play a cassette. So um, that was the only issue with this board, just this one little resistor which I had to replace. Um, it's taken me a good few hours to just go through each of the components with my cheap multimeter just to check, test it, check, checked all of these little resistors, they're all the same sort of colour. Um, sort of, um, they're not insulated, I think they're fire resistant, the resistors reading the service manual which I got for this, this, this Technics. Um, yeah, and they were all okay, all okay. I, check, I mean I checked all the power on the board, all the, you see all these, these um, uh, trans, what are they called, yeah, transistors are, uh, we're putting out the right sort of voltages, I mean pretty consistent with the manual uh, But yeah, as I probed around the only issue I could find was this one resistor So I just dropped the board out, uh, took that, took the old one out, uh, sold a new one in and it's 100% working So uh, a relatively easy fix actually, uh, pretty pleased with it And I say this deck now seems to be uh, pretty much bang on The um, tape type selectors working uh, at the moment Fingers crossed it continued to work consistently. Probably just through use would help actually. Maybe the switch just needs a bit of use to get it sort of clean the contacts, make a good contact. Um, but yeah, I think um, it works pretty well and uh, I don't know whether or not I'll keep it or sell this deck now. But um, yeah, great, great result finding that resistor on the board, on the main board uh, was faulty.
Right, thanks for listening and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.